Okay, so I just cleaned off my cucumbers, just rinse them with cold water and lightly scrub them with a sponge. Cut the ends off, just enough to get that sour part off. About a half an inch to an inch. Then you cut them like pickles. In the middle. In the middle again. Slice them real thin so I can pack a whole bunch in one jar. We got a big batch of pickles here ready. So here we got our bath water. It's filled up halfway. I got it on medium high heat, it's on five. Over here we got our brine, which is a water and vinegar and salt mixture. And we're gonna turn that on so it starts to boil while I'm packing my, my jars. Over here, nice clean jars. I put them in the sink. You want to put a slice of onion in, the, in each one. The first thing that goes in, a whole slice of onion. Then you got your dill seed. Put a tablespoon, just shy of a tablespoon in each jar. Minced garlic. This is a teaspoon. Just put a teaspoon of that in each jar. We got some fresh dill here. Basically just for decoration, but it will add some fresh dill spice to the taste. Put about a sprig. And each one. I'm sure there's some nice greens in it. Now, if you want just dill pickles, that's all you need. If you want spicy, mild one pepper. Medium two peppers and hot hot and spicy will be three peppers and that's what we're doing with this batch so we're doing hot hot peppers what kind of peppers are they these are orange habaneros and then you just pack your jars with your pickles sorry cucumbers they're not pickles yet pack them in there nice and tight as many in as you can. You want to make sure you have your head space, which is right to the top of the rim. So just keep packing them in there. Just slide them along the sides. Down in there. You want to get as many in as you can because these will shrink. Sometimes I even break some in half just to throw them on the top. Make sure I get a full jar. As soon as I get a skinnier one in there. Break them off. Okay, I'd say that's pretty full. I can still pack that one some more. But then 
What I would do at this point, once they're full, is I close my sink. Because you want these jars to be warm before you put them in your hot water. Close your sink. Get your water running really hot, as hot as you can. Now normally I have nine jars in the sink. I can do nine jars at a time in my canner. Water really hot. So this is just warming up the jars. Keep your jar nice and warm. Yeah. Add some hot water in the microwave. Put a bowl like that in for about five minutes so it's nice and hot. Put your lids in there to get those seals nice and warm. Set them to the side. Now, usually, I'd be doing nine at a time, but I'm just showing you how to do these two. The brine. Okay, I brought the brine to a boil. I turned it off so it's not so hot when I put it into the jars. So now it's not boiling. Just give it a stir. I put one scoop in each jar just to warm the jar up. And I go back to the first jar, put another scoop in. Scoop in the second jar. It's just gradually getting that jar nice and hot. Now you want to fill it just below the rim. Leaving some headroom there for it to boil. And that's pretty good. Now take a non-metallic spatula, slip it in on the sides here just to get the bubbles to come out to the top. You don't want no air in there. Just a plastic spatula works great. Keep them pickles down in there. Okay, that should be good. Now just wipe the top of your rims nice and clean and dry. Take your hot lid, Ouch. put it on there, it's nice and warm, all you have to do is just seal it, not even tight, just spin them on there, and seal it tight at all, and then that will go into your bath water, this is not boiling yet. So then once I get nine jars in there, I'll throw the lid on, turn these up to high. Now once that starts boiling, I'll lower the jars down into the pot and I'll start my timer for ten minutes. Ten minutes, pull them back up to the position they're in now, take the lid off and unload them right away onto just a, a towel. Make sure they're not touching each other and they'll sit there and you'll hear them start popping. The lids will start going down and popping and you'll know they're sealed. What type of brine is, is that? Water, vinegar, and salt. 